All right, guys, today we're going to take a look at this Alpine 3545. These were made from 1988 until about 1992. These were a very high end two channel amplifier from Alpine. I've got a video you can check on my channel. I'll leave the link in the video description or the card above where you can see this amp tested against the PPI 2350DM. I did a kind of a shootout between the two. But I'm not sure that I showed all the connections, so I'm going to do that now. You can see the two RCA inputs, gain control, 0.1 to 2 volt. And then there's some adjustments here for in input sensitivity, fixed or variable, stereo or mono. And then we have the channel outputs, and it's got this little silicon almost like a rubber band over the outputs. I guess that's to protect them. So once you hook the speakers up, you can make sure nothing gets shorted. It's amazing that that is still on the amp after all these years. I assume it came with that. Don't quote me if it doesn't. Now this amp is supposed to be black in color. Somebody painted it gray to match the 3558 that I also have, but Again, I wanted to show you the exterior of this amp. You can see two fans, one on either side here, push-pull operation, two battery, two ground terminals here. There are three 30 amp fuses for 90 amps of fusing. And then here, many people are gonna wonder what this is, and most of these amps do not come with the um, Molex plug to plug in. This is for your remote connection. The top one is the one you apply 12 volts to. The top one, not the bottom one, the top one. And you can do that with a, um, just like an open-ended bullet connector, use the top. It's weird though, there's, they've got two. And if I get any clarification as to why there's two, I'll leave it in the video description below. There's some LEDs here on the top for clipping, over temp, and remote on. All right, I will probably speed up this part so I won't talk right now so you don't hear the Ooh, it smells like the 80s. Definitely has the classic 80s smell. <laughs> Bit of a spaghetti wiring here. Those are 10,000 microfarad, 55 volt, 105 degrees Celsius caps. But look at all the rest of this wiring. Look at all of these transformers. Look at all this. This amp runs class A at low power and then bumps up to class AB at higher power. Rated 250 by two at four ohms, 350 by two at two ohms, or 700 watts bridged at four ohms. Here we'll show the specs of the amp. You can pause this if you wanna see it better from the car stereo review, March, April, 1989. Now let's look up the amp and see if it actually works. Here's the Alpine 3545, got it plugged in, got the remote into the top socket, let's turn it on. Power light comes on. Hear a little bit of something from the amp. I've actually got the track playing, speaker hooked up over there, so let's see if I can do this. Halfway looking, I don't know which one's positive. There we go. That channel's working. That channel's working. Let's try it bridged. Ah, dumb speaker channels come out. There we go.
Groovy music, man. It works. I haven't loaded it down like for an amp dyno test or anything, but it works. But there it is. You can see it was painted at one time. There's the original color. It looks like somebody tried to match it to the 3558, but this is just a slight bit of a green tint to the color. All right, so here is both of the Alpines together. 3545 that somebody painted in an attempt to match 3558. It's a little bit more green than it is gray. They didn't do a horrible job, but don't know why you would paint it. You can see here, that's the factory color, the black. And here, it's rubbed off a little bit, and here. But overall, both amps are in really good shape to be as old as they are. So I'm playing another video on the Alpine 3558. Unfortunately, this one does not work. So I have to send it off to a technician to have it repaired. And these are kind of quirky. So that can be, uh, take some time and hopefully they can actually get it repaired. So check the video here if you want to go back and see the amp dyno test of the 3545 compared against the PPI 2350. Thanks as always for watching. I'll catch you on the next one. Big D out of here.